Today, I'm going to test some KF94s. I love the colors that come in, and I really would like them to fit well. But so far, the only trifolds I've gotten to fit well on me are the 3M Auras. Today, we've got uh, the Evergreen and the Clean Well, and I'm hoping one of these is going to fit me well. So first up, it's going to be the uh, Evergreen Clean Top Mask. This is a mask that does not have, uh, it's not adjustable, but uh, the nose wire is interesting. It's kind of flat, maybe a piece of metal, I'm not sure, but better than a lot. So we'll give this a try. Okay, so this is the Evergreen Clean Top, and I, and I can feel that even as I'm talking, that these uh, ear loops are just too weak. And then as I talk, the mask is coming forward. Uh, a little bit of that is the sampling hose, but most of it is just that these, um, these are just weak ear loops. All right, I can feel a little bit of leak here. We give it the best chance it's got. Hold on to the sampling tube, and away we go. 4.7, uh, not great. Uh, a little bit better than I expected based on how much air I could feel going past my nose. So uh, uh, <laughs> maybe the next one uh, will do better. Okay, before I move on, I do want to give the uh, Evergreen Clean Top um, a try with the Fix the Mask. I want to see how much of this is going to be um, the filtration versus the fit. I'm pretty sure it's almost entirely or if not all fit. So here we go. 485, that's a very good fit factor. Um, be great if the mask could do that without the fix the mask attached on top, but clearly the filtration media is good. It's just not fitting well on my face in particular. Uh, could work well for people who don't have the same high nose bridge that I have. So I don't actually know what model this is because uh, this one has adjustable ear loops, but the packaging I received, it was uh, given to me, uh, is entirely in Korean. So. Uh, we're going to give it a try and see if the uh, adjustable ear loops make a difference. Okay, I've snugged up the ear loops as much as I can, um, but I can still feel that this nose wire is just not staying put. Um, the tension of the uh, ear loops pulls the nose wire taut. That's because it's just not adequate for my nose bridge. So I think this will test a little bit better, but uh, it, it's not going to be amazing. 4.0, it actually did worse. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, clearly the nose wires in KF94s uh, have never worked well enough for me. Uh, this is just another case where even with good ear loops and, and good filtration media, the nose wire is making all the difference. But we're gonna try it with Fix the Mask and see what happens. All right, I've got Fix the Mask on uh, this uh, Evergreen. I think it's an Evergreen, this Evergreen. Uh, with the adjustable ear loops, and we're going to see how the filtration media does. One forty-five. Um, well, I was expecting a bigger improvement than that. I mean, that's still a, a passing fit factor score, but um, I'm not sure why this filter media didn't do better. I don't know if I just didn't get the fix the mask right, but um, it would be great if I could get that fit. One forty-five. I'd be happy with that. Uh, if I could get that without this fix the mask, uh, mask fitter. Okay, so this is the Clean Well. It's a nicely uh, colored KF94 trifold mask. I'm hoping it will fit better than uh, the last two masks I tested. Okay, in spite of being freshly packaged, this mask fill smells a bit like tobacco smoke for some reason. Uh, I just opened this package. I'm not sure how it could smell like tobacco. Uh, also, I'm feeling leaks, and the nose wire hurts my nose. It's abrasive, uh, not acceptable. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and see how it fits. 2.6, um, 2.5 overall, thick factor. Um, that's about as bad as a mask can get. That's as bad as a surgical mask. Uh, this leaks terribly on me, um, and it doesn't feel good. But we're going to try it with the S hook because it does come with a behind the neck hook. Um, but even, even without using the S-hook, it should not be as low as 2.5. That's terrible. Okay. Uh, nose wire is doing a little bit better than so many others. Uh, it's trying to straighten out because of the tension though. So you can see it, it's not staying conformed to my nose and it still hurts. All right, we're going to try it with the S-hook behind the head. 3.1, still terrible. 
uh, even with the behind the head hook. So not a good mask for anyone with a high nose bridge. Um, but uh, we're going to try with the fix the mask. All right, we're going to try the uh, clean well with the fix the mask. Um, and we're going to see if the filter is any good compared to the fit. Sixty-three. Um, yeah, I mean that that could be decent if you were uh, wearing it without a fix the mask. Not not great. I felt like it might still be leaking even with the fix the mask. Um, but uh, this mask is not acceptable. The the nose wire is abrasive. Um, maybe people with lower nose bridges wouldn't feel that, but I I can't. No, it's it's bad. Uh, I can't recommend this at all, even if it fits you. Okay, and to close it out, we're going to use this Ordinary 3M Aura to make sure that it's not my beard causing the problems. It is, it is trimmed underneath, and uh, I can get good fit factors with a trifold mask, and we're going to find out just how good by using this one. Okay, this is the control experiment with the 3M Aura. Four fifty-one, a very good score, and you note that that score I got that without fix the mask. Um, so I've gotten better with this mask, uh, and I've gotten you know scores about this, but it's always high, and it never needs fix the mask. So um, I know that uh, KF ninety fours work for a lot of people, but if you have a high nose bridge like I do, don't even bother. It's not worth it. Get a three Amora. Uh, see about fit testing uh, if you can find it in your area, but. KF94s, the nose wires are just not good enough for high nose bridges.